well, look at that. I believe we are ready for workshop Wednesday. Apologies for the uh, lack of anything in the, in the background there. I'm reworking all the 3D printers. But yeah, we're going to be doing something a little different tonight. Um, I've got a very interesting project we're going to work on uh, because a little while ago I made a tripod. Let me show it to you. So this, this is a tripod for um, a phone, like a cell phone. And the idea is basically I needed something that I could set up my cell phone with. And so it consists of a couple different parts. You have the um, legs, which are just PVC pipe, three quarter inch PVC pipe. And so they fit into this piece here. So you can imagine this just standing up like this. And then I have two of these pieces. Hey, little prince. Um, and they're identical. And one of them goes here. Whoops. Sorry. Wrong way around. One of them would go in here. So I can fit in just like that. And then I have another piece here. And you see how these are kind of clamp shaped here on this edge. So I take, actually, I gotta change this around a little bit. So I put the bolt in here, which is a little, there we go. So the bolt goes in there. This goes here. All right, so now I have a, a spot. And then, move all this around. My cell phone would go here. Like this, basically. This comes down on top of that. And then this is a knob with a, uh, a hex nut glued into it. So I can just do this. It's a little funky, but there we go. So that can come down like this and screw into there. And so I use that to kind of set this in. That's the idea. The basic idea. So I want to be able to, you know, take this around and, and do stuff with it. Uh, in order to do that, oh, I got some gunk on there. Interesting. Got to clean this out a little bit. That's why it wasn't uh, working very well. I must have had some some stuff. Anyway, you get the idea. So I need to carry this around with me. And obviously putting all these in like a pocket isn't going to work very well. So I thought I'd make a little traveling case for it. And you could do this for any other sort of... Uh, you know, just sort of miscellaneous stuff you need to carry around with you. I'm going to do this out of some old jeans. I already used some of the, these jeans, the, the, the top of them, but I still have the legs of these jeans. And I'm going to make a carrying bag out of it. Now, conveniently, the legs from a pair of pants are already basically bag-shaped, right? You have, this is just a cylinder of fabric, like that. So really, this is going to be a pretty simple build because I want to do a couple of things here. Um, obviously, I want to sew up one end of this so I don't put things in one end and they just fall out the bottom. Um, but also, I want to be able to cinch up the top. And to do that, I need to sew in a, a band at the top where I will put in a uh, base, probably like a shoelace, basically, a piece of cord. Um, I'm, I, I, I had thought about buying and kind of planned out buying something for this, like buying a, a long shoelace, but I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. So I'm going to basically make that, you know, prepare it, and then later on I'll just thread the, um, the, you know, the thing through that, which is annoying, but it'll be fine. So basically I need to do a couple of things to this. I'm going to sew up one end and just, you know, sew it off. And then in the other end, I'm going to basically fold it over and sew in the, um, uh, the channel where that's going to go and leave a little space for it. And so first thing to look at is sort of how long this is. And as you can see, it's, it's pretty long. Um, so if I take these and put them in there, actually, that's pretty perfect. So if I have, and obviously these will all fit in there as well, um, sort of miscellaneously. Will that fit in there? That should. Good, so that, that'll, that'll work in terms of size uh, and length. So the other thing is to figure out, do I fold over, do I sew this over to form the channel? I think I'm going to use this for the, um, the, the band, 
because I already have this hem here. So when I fold it over, it already creates a little bit. Can you see how that's already a kind of a gap there naturally because of the size of that hem? That is gonna help me a little bit with the hem. So I'm gonna do that. We're gonna see if this works because my sewing machine doesn't go very high in terms of the fabric uh, or in terms of the needle. So hopefully when I you know, fold this over, it can actually sew through all that, we'll find out. I um, also need to be very careful about this to, uh, to not, um, uh, to be pretty even all the way around. So we'll see how that works. Um, also, do I have, I have black thread, black thread will be fine. So I'm gonna do that, that'll be the top. So that means the bottom, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna basically um, tuck this under like this to have a nice clean edge. And then I'm just gonna sew across there. So I'm not gonna try to make this, you know, um, a cylinder, basically. This is just gonna be a straight, you know, a bag that basically fold down flat like this. Um, so looking at it, I don't think I need to do anything else crazy. Actually, I could, so if I folded this, if I did this, I always say to do right sides together. So if I did this, pull this out, so I inverted it, I need this one. Oh, I, actually, I should decide if I wanna use one or the other. Um, let me, so here's where we, you know, play around a little bit. So there's one side there, there's the other side there. So you can see here are the knees, um, which are kind of faded out. So the question is, do I care? Is one worse than the other? I actually want to look at them to see. I don't see any particular difference between the two. Um, so I think it's sort of eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Um, yeah, I don't care. I'm going to work with this one. I'm just going to use this one. So they say to do right side together. Um, so if I flip this inside out, let me see, and then, oh yeah, so that's a good point. So if I just sew straight across, it's gonna be even easier. Yeah, I'll just do that. So I can just, if I just sew straight across here, then when I flip this out, it will already be, because it'll be right sides together, I don't have to you know, fold it under and tuck it, right? Um, this will just be the bottom of the bag. I will probably sew twice, I'll probably do two lines here, because this is the bottom of the bag, it's gonna carry a lot of weight, so it needs to be really, really solid. So I'll probably go down once, turn it around, and then go back the other way. In here, uh, again, we're, we're inverted, so we're on the inside now. So I basically need to do this, right, right? Because when I flip it around, yeah. So I'm not sure if it's gonna make much of a difference, but I am going to sew from this, from, from, you know, from it reversed. And that's going to be my, uh, the way I do it. And I think conveniently, um, you know, I've got, so this big old um, part right here is going to be very hard to sew over because it's so thick. So I think I'm not going to. I'm going to leave a gap there so that when I flip this out, this will be, where the, uh, the, the, the thread, the, the lace goes in, right? So I'll leave a gap there and that'll be where it comes all around. So I think that'll work out nicely. All right, so I've got basically only a little bit of work to do here. And we'll see how this goes. To be clear, as typical with Workshop Wednesdays, I came into this knowing I have pieces of, some, of an old pair of jeans in the closet and I have this tripod I'm going to figure it out. So what you just saw there was me doing all the figuring out of that. Just grab the sewing machine. And thankfully, I have found the pedal. Oh my god, good. I got plenty of thread. So let's get that done. Plug that in. Plug it in, plug it in. What's that from, by the way? Should also figure out better lighting for this. And then I'm always kind of blown out. All right. So we plug in the thing, and we plug in the thing. All right, good. So our sewing machine is now plugged in. Absurdly small sewing machine. I haven't used this, used this in a while. So again, if I just sew down this twice, then when I 
fold it back, right sides together, this is inside out right now, um, I will have a nice clean edge, right? I won't have this stuff draping over the side. Um, so basically I just need to do a line down here. And like I said, I'll probably, actually it's gonna be really hard to go the other way. So I'll probably just cut it and then go back and then do it twice. All right, so here goes nothing. So I just put that there, lowering the the thing. Get this in position. Uh, let's see here. I think I'm on. I'm on slow, which I want because fast was just kind of going crazy. Let's see what happens. I'm quite sure it's sewing, but I assume it is. Okay. And then we come up. And I'm going to go ahead and raise that. Good. Yeah, that, that worked. We'll trim off our excess thread. And like I said, I'm going to do that all over again. Oh, trim off the excess thread on this end as well. And yellow thread would probably be look really nice, but eh, I don't care that much, especially for these first two few projects. So again, I'm going to do that again because I want to make sure this is a very um, sturdy bottom of the bag. Okay. Try to mostly follow the line of the first scene. Again, you're not going to see this actually. I mean, you will somewhat. Come on. There we go. It's going to be tucked. You shouldn't actually see this at all, because it'll be tucked in. Okay. So just for my own experimentation, to make sure I'm not crazy. Hey, Sebastian. I think things were edited out when the show aired here in your country. Oh, interesting. Huh. I'll be very curious to watch Evangelion uh, here sometime soon. So I'm gonna put this out. Yep. And sure enough, so there's the bottom of the bag and you don't really see anything because of where that seam is. Cool. So now you just to, to again, fold this under and sew it. Um, again, it doesn't really matter, but I think it's gonna be easier if I do it the other way around. So I'm gonna re-reverse this. Feels pretty sturdy. So we fold this underneath. Now, importantly, <laughs> we're not gonna just lay this on there and then sew along here, because then we're sewing the other end together. We're going to, you know, sew like that and go around. Um, I want a fair amount of, um, of space. In other words, I don't want it like like this, because then it's going to be really hard to thread anything through there. I want a, a pretty significantly sized gap so I can th thread a larger, you know, thing through there. Um, so yeah, I think I'm going to go with that. Looks about right. Let's see what happens. This might be a really quick build, a really quick, you know, sewing project. Um, so okay, important. This is thick, this is both thick, that's the thicker one. Since we're sewing, since the fabric's gonna be pulled this way through, I'm gonna start at the big knot on the other side of that. And that should work. 
so I can go all the way around, basically. I'm a little con no, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to be smart. I'm going to grab some pins. I'm going to hold off. And I'm going to pin this a consistent depth all the way around so that I don't accidentally, you know, sew it and find it's really incredibly uneven. Like, I'm sure it'll be uneven. But let me at least avoid as much unevenness as possible. Now, this will be f a little more difficult to uh, w run through the sewing machine, but I think it'll be worth it. So as you can see, I'm basically looking at this and judging. And then pinning that. So it should be fairly, fairly consistent all the way around. Otherwise, as I'm, you know, as I'm doing this, it will pull on the fabric as it's going through the machine. And uh, come on, there we go. And become uneven. So I want a bunch of different. Sort of guide holes here, guidances. See, that feels like it's gone, gone up already. Okay, this is why I'm doing it. Could also be that the fabric is naturally a little going a certain way. Okay, so you see how it's kind of down here. Oh, that's, that's gotta be careful there. Um, so you see the dif difference in the fabric here and how that's a pretty even line there. But as soon as I come here, see how it comes up a little bit? But actually, I think that is just a, a natural aspect of the fabric. What I'm going to do is I'm going to pull that out and then pull it down a little bit. OK, yeah, it's just so the fabric is actually um, sort of pulling a little bit here and, and naturally pulling it up. So I'm actually glad I did this because um, I can actually make this even by just fiddling with that a little bit, and it'll look a lot better. Should look a lot better. All I know. Glad you think so, Mike. I think so too. It's kind of interesting. And it's nice knowing you, you, I'm doing this with just, you know, again, old jeans. Okay. So again, I want to find that big knob, which is right there. Got that up. I'm going to tuck this under. I'm going to push this over. So I've now got my, my thing. And I'm going to basically try to keep this as even as possible and just get this all the way along. And just follow this along that line. Now the tough bit. We're hitting this this seam here. It's very thick, and I don't know if I'm going to be able to go. Uh, okay, I'm able to go over. Not really thrilled, but it, it made it. Continue. Continue. Coming up on the the big knot, the big knob. Okay, that's as far as I can go. Pull that out. So I'm frankly astonished that I've kept the uh, the machine threaded the entire time. 
and then we clean off the other excess thread. This would also work for a dice bag. So if you have uh, you know, dice, you can do that. Okay, yeah, so we have a, we have a thing. Is this gonna work? Is this gonna make any sense? I think so. Um, all right, let's remove our pins. in our pin cushion, which is why we have a pin cushion. I'll probably add some more pins to that outside pin cushion now that I've played around with a bit and I can tell I would want more than just these for any given project. Is that all of them? It's important to make sure you have all of them. All right, let's flip it out. Shame I don't have a, like a cord somewhere. There we go. All right, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to grab some string. It's not going to be a final cord, but I want to play around with it just to see how it works. Okay. Um, yeah, and that is that, that is that is formed a, ch a channel. So the stitching is a little um, unhappy. So it's sort of pulling out a little bit. So I'm hoping it's going to stay. Not quite sure why that's happening. So you see how it's kind of looped oddly um, in some places. Not sure what, what's going on there. Probably just you know the issues with the thing. All right, um, I will be back in about thirty seconds with some string. Okay, we may actually have an option here. These are some old sweatpants that are falling apart. I'm actually planning on um, cloning these in a later workshop Wednesday. But they actually have cord in them, which is not very useful because as you can see, these are, it's all fraying and falling apart. So I'm wondering what would happen if I just tried to that out. Um, is it stuck? In, it feels like it's stuck in there for some reason. Stuck to something. Oh, has it been sewed in? I feel like it's been sewed in. Yeah. It's sewed in right here. Is this enough for that? It might be. Now it's got that bit, you know, um, messed up. So if I grab, it looks like that. So if I, hopefully I can pull out. Nope, that's not it. Where is that? Can I find that in here somewhere? Or, there it is. Okay, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna open up this hole a little bit so I can grab that. Pull it out. So this is all I have. This is the entire length. So the question is, if I had this in here, it would just barely come around. Um, but then I can cinch it shut. Let's give it a try. I wish I could get the entire thing. Let me just. Yeah, it looks like it's, it, it's been sewed in, and I don't see a stitch that I can easily de stitch. Um, 
Almost like it's been glued in there, actually. See that? Um, I am tempted to tear this apart. Get at that. But no, let's give this a try. So I'm going to go all the way in and just cut this right out. Okay. So here's our length of cord. And again, we're not really losing anything. It's worth a try. We need to pass this through. It's going to be really hard to pass through something like this because it's going to go all over the place. So I need a safety pin. And I don't know if I have any. Let me check my uh, sewing kit. Goofy sewing kit here. We should have a safety pin somewhere. Got some needles, thread, chalk, chalk. I could use, ah, look at that. Yay, safety pin. Do I have anything bigger? A really big safety pin would be nice. There are not a lot of uh, babies around here, so I don't exactly, not exactly full of safety pins. Um, but that should do. Again, I can use a really big needle and kind of, you know, just push that through, but this is better than that, I think. I think. Yeah. Um, I don't really have any... I have some big... One second. I mentioned that, and now I'm like, hmm. There's a big needle. Like another sewing machine needle. Um, let's give that a try. How would I do it? Actually, you know what I can do? Ingenuity. So again, this is going to be more helpful to sort of pull through. Well, you know what let's, what let's do? I'm going to poke this through without poking myself, hopefully. All right. Hopefully. There we are. So I've now got that. So hopefully, he said again, I can go in here. So I'm now going into that channel. And I'm basically grabbing that and pushing it through. And actually what I should do is, yeah, okay. So now I can, I can grab that safety pin and ideally I can basically inch it along. Where is it? There it is. So I can kind of squeeze like this and pull it. Yeah, and unfortunately, this isn't going to squeeze much, so I can't move it very far at any given time. But if I bunch it up further along from the safety pin and then pull that through, yep, it's coming through. So we're just going to get as much as we can. Could wrap the end with masking tape to make a point. That's true. That's a really good point. Um... In fact, you're dropping it um, with masking tape to make a just a larger, thicker piece would be useful as well. Just so I could kind of grab onto that better through the, uh, you know, through the fabric. But this is going, you know, fast enough. I'm almost halfway through, halfway around. Hopefully, I can like knot the ends or something. Another thing that would be good. Actually, this might be a good um, uh, hobby hopper would be uh, making knots, learning how to tie different knots. Someone suggest that in Hobby Hopper, because that would be a really useful, useful skill. All right, so now the problem here is I'm at this, oh yeah, okay, that's, that's going to be interesting. So I'm at this seam, which is, of course, much thinner because there's a lot more fabric involved, so it's harder to grab onto the... Uh, the piece and pull it through. So it's coming, but it's just much slower through that that part. And that means it's going to be slower beyond it because the um, uh, this part is going to sort of clamp on to the... Uh, oh, it doesn't want to go past that point. It's going to kind of clamp on to the fabric and not make it want to... and make it not want to move. Right, because how do you how do you do that? I've got to get past that point. Okay, I think 
yeah this is a little harder yeah it's definitely a lot harder which may not be a bad thing um, overall because I'm hoping whoops wait where is it uh oh I think it may have come off Yeah, I think it's come off. Well, shoot. Can I get in and see? Not really. It's there. I think I can feel the... Uh... Yeah, I, I think I, I can feel the, uh... the... Yep, there it is. Let me verify. That's annoying. Is that really? Am I, am I crazy? It feels like the, uh, the pin has just dropped. That, yep. It pulled out of the, uh, the thing. Yep, it just ripped a hole right at the end. Okay, that's frustrating. Um, if I do it here, it's not, it's never going to, okay. I'm just going to have to, um, so the first episode of Copcraft, Page Wicked City. Yeah, Wicked City. Totally, 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 totally. 100% in agreement. All right, so that's interesting. Um, let's try it again. So good to know that's not a slam dunk. And that that spot is going to be Trixie. Trixie Hobbitses. Yeah, if, if that show, if, if Copcraft, is, if Copcraft is as hardcore as Wicked City, I'll be very, I'll, I'll be shocked. Um, but it's neat seeing something that kind of has that vibe. Um, okay, I've already lost the, uh, the safety pin. Where is it? up here there it is okay it just got pulled a little bit I'm also wondering if I'm gonna have to um, mess with the uh, this this part here like I may have to maybe even cut out some of the thread essentially uh, de-thread some of the, the thread there So that I can, um, so it'll get past. So I can essentially make that part of it very similar to this end, where it's kind of hanging out. We will see. And again, I'm not sure if even this, you know, this cord is going to be right for this, but it's worth trying. And I'm getting some weird deja vu on this. I feel like I've done this before, where I'm just remembering the future. It's basically what deja vu always feels like to me, that I'm just remembering the future. I can also be a little more delicate, maybe, with this, so I don't uh, rip through it again. Okay. Push it further. If I can get this all the way around, I'll be very pleased. <laughs> so basically, I'm feeding this through and then carefully tugging the rest of the fabric away so it stays at that new position, which pulls the, uh, the cord through a fraction of an inch, just a very small amount each time. The other thing that I'm worried about is that um, every time I do this, I'm f fraying the end of cord, which uh, isn't very good. Nope. So I'll just get that through there. Grab it. Nope. There's the head. Okay, we're just going to 
pull the head a little bit further and then try to push it through. Very weird feeling. Trying to get this. Okay, it's in that, it's in the middle chamber. I can grab that and then pull the rest of this around that. Yeah, it does not want to, doesn't want to cooperate with that. I think the problem is getting the, um, the, the safety pin will go through, but the cord is actually kind of wrapped around the safety pin, right? There's, if this is the end of the cord and the safety pin is in it, that means that the, the end of the cord is kind of wrap, you know, wrapping around a little bit. And when it hits this, this point here where it's very tight, that is causing the safety pin to kind of go through and kind of the, the cord catches on the other end. So I gotta figure out where the end of that safety pin is. Should be over here. I'm certainly not feeling it anywhere. Mm. I'm just kind of trying to pour, force this through, but it is not cooperating. I just can't feel the safety pin anywhere. And it's probably like jammed up inside here somewhere. So I suppose I could pull it out a little bit and try to refine the safety pin. Where'd it go? Ah, okay. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, yep. There it is, right there. Okay, hopefully it's right just on the other side of that, that knob. The smaller knob, the lesser knob. Okay, and like before, it's really hard to pull this through. I'm trying to be a little more delicate now. So Otakon is this weekend, which is very exciting. Let me I can kind of push it through this way. It's kind of hard to believe that I will be doing a panel in two days in front of a crowd of folks at Otakon. So Otakon's big. Come on. Come through. Yeah, it's kind of stuck in there. It's definitely kind of stuck. So I'm just going to kind of move this around a bit and hope I can get that wad of... that wad of cord past that spot. It does not want to go. It's definitely stuck in there. So basically, I could take out a few of these stitches, um, but that would then make it kind of unravel here. I think it's the only way I'm going to get this past this knot. Or I can just kind of give up and use it and you know, find another cord that's smaller, which might be the smarter thing to do as opposed to trying to force it. And potentially, uh, yep. yeah. potentially weakening the uh, the entire thing. Yeah, I can definitely feel it is just stuck here. All right. Any suggestions? Um, it will be the 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 panel on Friday will be. A Brief History of Giant Robots. So basically just a trip down memory lane of the major mecha series of the past couple of decades. Oh wait, is that working? Did that work? Did it work? Or did I just pull it out? Maybe. Uh, I think I just pulled it out. I think it just ripped out. I'm not sure. We'll, we'll keep feeding it, see what happens. And then on Saturday, I'm doing a panel called um, Mecca as Modern Mythology, where I talk about how I believe Mecca is, the, is providing a new view of the future, a new set of social values and perspectives on the world. I think that worked. I think it's coming through. We'll find out.
Yeah, it's not loose. So I think that worked. All right. Ah, it keeps coming out of my, uh, my grip. It's definitely harder to do now. Yep, 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 yep. Where'd it go? Where'd it go? There it is. And that's because there's just so much... Uh, There's so much fabric for the cord to uh, press up against. And also to go through this tight spot. So I can't just pull through quite as much as I used to be able to. Boy. Yeah, this last, uh, this last little bit's gonna be the, the hardest in some ways. Because you feel like you're so close, but you still gotta Work your way through. Can't take shortcuts. Yep. Hopefully they will go well. Oticon is um, recording more panels. So hopefully that panel will be recorded and I can post it up somewhere. Unfortunately, I will not be able to like bring material to record the panel myself. Um, just don't have the... Hey, there we go. Hey. Oh. Okay, yeah, that's kind of scary. So I'm right at the end. Um, all right. And again, the issue would be here if I kept on doing this, then we'd, we'd be in trouble. So I think what I'm gonna do now is I'm just going to do a simple square knot. Which I'm sure is not the best knot for this. Not the best knot, however. So that's not going to come out anytime soon. All right. So it might be there's a better way of doing this where I'm not. Um, so I think, yeah, a better way of doing this would be to um, have like an opening here. So this comes out of here and I can just draw it, you know, do a drawstring. So that's a lesson learned. But I think that works. So first off, let's move. Like I got you into anime, nice. Like it definitely was a big influence on me. So let me grab the tripod bits. Those go in there. And I'm just gonna sort of shove things in. I might wanna do something, I might wanna like put some of these things in a smaller bag. Otherwise it's gonna be hard to get them all out of the the bag, but oh, <laughs> so this does not want to draw string at all <laughs> because it's so, huh? It is a little bit, so I can, yeah. So this is the most I'm able to draw string it. Oops. So it is nowhere near closed. So that's an interesting drawback. Um. I think part of that is because I am binding on this seam, so it doesn't want to gather on that seam because it's so thick. Yeah, that is a that is a problem. All right, so that's that's an issue with this build. Uh, what I might end up doing, sort of practically, is get some Velcro and just like, you know, Velcro this closed uh, with like literally just a strip of Velcro. Macross, first anime and first anime movie. Very cool. Um, or something else like that. Just, just something where I can you know, do a chord. I might even literally just do a chord and um, like some paracord or something. But this ain't bad for a first attempt at a, um, at a tripod bag. And again, this is, this is a workable tripod bag. Um, I could also actually literally just take Velcro and Velcro here. What if, do I have any Velcro? Because what I could do is I could literally just, so take out this seam, undo all that work, and put Velcro on the inside of this, you know, one type on one side, the other on the other side, and then just Velcro it shut, right? 
Let me see if I have any Velcro. I'll be back in about 60 seconds. Yes, I have Velcro. Look at that. So, 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 so. If I go in here and I literally undo the work of the last like half hour, which by the way, it's okay. Gonna make it better. I'm just gonna cut a bunch of this. And this was the um, the most problematic, if you recall, of the uh, the sewing. Like I there was definitely some some issues there. So I'm not displeased at losing this. I should probably empty it as well. But I'm just cutting out a bunch of this thread. I'm just looking for spots where I can just get in and cut it. Okay. And just pull it out. Yeah, just. So we're just removing all of that all that thread best we can and yep it's unraveling okay we'll just cut that out as best we can Okay. Then we're going to sew Velcro. There that comes. And I could use tweezers here, obviously, and such. There we are. Okay. We have undone all that. Let's empty it out. Okay. And then I'm going to take Velcro, cut to length. I'm going to get a piece that is this long. That long. You can be kind of generous on it. And I'll get another piece. Opposite. Which is also that long. Again, I'll probably trim it down when I actually get to sew it in. Okay, we're going to again flip it inside out. I don't feel a need to pin this down because I know exactly where it needs to go, but maybe I should. Um, so yeah, so what I'll do, I don't need to go that entire length and it's not going to anyway. So let me trim that to there. So this is gonna go on the inside here, right? And yeah, let's just pin that. So I'm just going to pin it here. And actually, for, for extra security, I'm going to try to sew down one end and down that end. So I want to get it, you know, all the way, if I can. Ow, ow. Poked myself twice in a row. That's impressive. OK. There are clearly better ways of doing this, but I don't know them. This is 
do this. Actually, I think I'm realizing. There. I don't have to poke it way through. Way through. All right. And then this will go here. Tough to make this like really close. Okay, there we are. So there we go. We're going to sew that to start off with. And again, I'm just going to sew down one side and then sew down the other side. And with luck, that should hold it pretty well. We're learning. Grab my uh, pedal. Pedal feels weird. Um, yeah, that's right. Okay. So I'm just going down there. Put it down. Does not feel like it's in a great spot. I feel like it's really screwing up. But whatever. Oops. There we go. Mm -hmm. So we've gone down one side. We trim. We trim. We trim. Just not want to be happy. There we go. I've learned to take care of that as soon as possible. And you go here. Again, second verse, same as the first, but this time we're going on the other end, the other side. So it should be nice and solid, it's solidly sewn in there. Not even. But it should at least be reasonable. Like it should work. Whoa, yeah, that, that's really a messy seam. That's probably because of the speed. Like I'm going at a slow speed. And so it's, uh, um, it gives it a lot of opportunity to kind of bounce around in there. So maybe for the other one, I'm going to go ahead and, yep, making a new pair of booty shorts. Exactly right, Gorilla Morgan. You know me well. So that's there. And then, repeat. But with the other strip. The other side, get the string out of the legs. We don't need that. And we will. I wonder if it'll be better if I put them in that way. I don't think so. Yeah, I think so because I'm I'm sewing that direction, and so it's too easy for me to uh, stick myself with the needle. So watch me stick myself with the needle. Yep. I was wondering if I should go the other way. Should I be doing it? Should I be going through like, like this maybe? It's gonna be really hard to judge though, right? Hmm. All right, let's just let's just stick with what we know for now. I'm not gonna experiment too much here. I'm not changing too many variables at once. <laughs> uh, so this is actually going to be basically is a uh, a bag for carrying a tripod and the velcro is going to be to keep the top closed try doing uh, the cord you know a drawstring basically so you can't see that but it did not work out very well so I figure oh huh. a fair amount of distance there weird the Velcro should do just fine. 
to do what I need. Okay. All right. Then we spin it right round, baby. Spin it right round. And we put this here. Put that down there. Actually, can we go back a little bit? No. That's where we can go. That's what we're going to do. All right. We're going to go faster. That's your pussycat. Kill, kill. Again, kind of uneven, but I think it will work. And we got them over here. Okay. And we'll go back down that same side. You are forgiven for working late, by the way, Girl Martin. Just don't let it happen again. Screwy there. Alright. This will go like this. And then down like this. And then this will go there. Okay. I'm just going down the other side of that Velcro so it'll be nice and firmly in place. Needles are a little annoying, but ultimately useful, like so many things in life. All right. One out. Yay. We didn't need to change uh, thread. That's very nice. Yeah, we, we kept the thread. No, that's still very, ooh. See that? That is just bouncing all over the place. That could be the uh, the machine having some issues. We'll find out. All right, let's get these pins out of the way so I don't get stuck constantly. Yes, money is just. Don't you understand? Money is greed. Money is uh, pointless. Okay. So yeah, don't know why those those uh, stitches are so crazy. Uh, I mean, you to tighten some things. That'll be worth my uh, experimentation. But with luck, now, unless I miss my guess, I put this inside out. Now it's going to be hard to carry this. I don't think that's a huge deal. And I can always sew on a, like a, you know, a handle or something. <laughs> yep. Ooh, that's not good. No, 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 no. Oh, well, maybe. Maybe it's okay. Yeah. The stitches are definitely a little loose, but they're holding. I'm really unhappy with this. You can see how... how loose those stitches are. Like, that, you should see no loops, whatever. That should just be a solid line. So, not sure what's going on there. But... Can't complain. And again, this is like a $30 sewing machine. So, we return to our main project. We grab our tripod legs, three quarter inch uh, PVC pipe. The one problem with Velcro is it's easy for that to uh, fall all over the place. Oh, interesting. It didn't. No, no, it's fine. It, it's easy for it to just fall on, um, in on itself and then Velcro. So, gotta be careful there. Yeah, I do believe. Actually, doesn't you know? I can just sort of push this together. But yeah, well, I kind of like that. There we go. I can now carry around my tripod in this bag. Everything's all together. It's actually kind of nice to just have a bag, a hold. 
you know, for that. Um, you know, where it's like, okay, I can just grab this, take this anywhere. I'm not really worried about that. I can just, I don't really need a handle or anything. It's just, okay, I hold this in one hand and I'm good to go. So I'm happy with that. Yay, this is a bag for the tripod. All ready to go. Um, yeah, I can see myself buying a better sewing machine at some point. Um, I kind of want to see as far, see how far I can go with a really cheap sewing machine before I try to, you know, um, uh, advance, pull, you know, suck as much uh, energy and as much utility out of this as I can. Um, so we'll see. Yeah, I may just like tighten up some of these, some, like the screw there and that kind of stuff. I don't know what else I can really deal with. Um, but I don't know, and it, it's also possible, it's also very possible that this is a, a matter of this, this uh, fabric. Like, jeans fabric is notoriously rough. So actually, let's do a quick experiment here. Um, hold on a second. Do I have some just random fabric? I gotta have some random fabric somewhere. So yeah, here's some random fabric. So to finish this out, we're gonna try something. I'm just gonna fold this over on itself and sew a little seam. That is very happy. So that's the problem. It's the it's the jeans fabric. That machine is just not happy. So look at that. That seam there and that seam there, right? That's what we should be looking for. So that's good to know that I'm just I'm really pushing that machine to the limit with jeans fabric. But it worked. It worked. Yay. So that is it. That is the jeans based uh, tripod bag and that is it for our workshop Wednesday for tonight thank you all so much as always for hanging out this has been a lot of fun and until next time make something